In this video, we will be discussing the evaluation of remaining tooth structure before treating a tooth with a crown. As seen in this first example, a relatively small MOD direct restoration is present on the tooth. In this situation, this tooth would be an ideal candidate to receive a crown, as once the tooth is prepared, plenty structure will remain and the prognosis will be excellent. In the second situation, an extensive direct restoration is present. Even though tooth structure is present on the buccal and lingual sides, it may get extremely thin following tooth preparation for external coverage. Depending on the angulation of the restoration, it may actually undermine tooth structure, such as seen on this image. In this situation, the operator might see residual tooth structure on buccal and lingual, but in reality, next to no tooth structure is present due to undermining of the T-Rex restoration, and a crown would likely fail. In a situation such as this one, evaluating the thickness of the residual tooth structure may be easier by removing the direct restoration before preparing the tooth for a crown. In a situation like this one, two options are available to the dentist. The tooth could be root canal treated in order to get retention from the canal space, or the tooth could simply be restored with an inlay or onlay to preserve the buccal and lingual tooth structure. This is discussed in another video. I hope this video answered all the questions that you may have had in regards to evaluation of tooth structure before treating teeth with external coverage. For more information, please see my video comparing inlay or onlay restorations with crowns and my video on using pin retained core to retain crowns. Thank you for watching.